How do we know something is in motion? Here's a simple question. Is Mr. Hildebrand in motion? That's obvious. Of course he is. Okay, but how did you come to that conclusion? Well, the filing cabinet wasn't moving, and he moved past it. So he had to be moving. Good. You use the concept of a reference point to determine if Mr. Hildebrand was moving. A reference point is a stationary point that allows observers to see motion because the distance between the object and the observer changes. In other words, you instinctively find an object that you are confident does not move, like the filing cabinet. If Mr. Hildebrand is getting closer to the filing cabinet and the filing cabinet isn't moving, it must be Mr. Hildebrand that's moving. A tree is a good reference point because it doesn't move. An island, a building, a bridge, and the ground don't move. They are good reference points. Bleachers, a wall, the grass, signs in the background, things stuck in the ground are all good reference points. Without a reference point, it is difficult to determine if an object is moving. Once a background is added, you can easily see a stationary reference point and the distance between that stationary point and Mr. Hildebrand is changing. Your brain can even be tricked into thinking that motion is occurring if objects that you typically think are stationary are seen to be moving. Watch out for that table! Huh? You know that trees do not move around, so it must be Mr. Hildebrand who is moving on the roller coaster when in fact, he is not moving at all. Your brain was tricked. Let's review what we learned about motion using reference frames. It's hard to tell if this plane is moving quickly, or slowly, or even moving at all. Without a reference point, motion is hard to see. How fast is this plane moving? 5 miles per hour? 100? 800 miles per hour? Is it even moving at all? How about this plane? Hard to tell if it's moving. What about this plane? Once a reference point is added to the background, motion is easy to see. The reference point could be the ground, clouds, the ocean, the beach, or the ground. Now that we know about reference frames, it's easy to see motion. Just look for one object passing another.